If you think your life is confusing, wait till you hear this episode of Tell, Tell You Later. Later. And don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. How do you do? I'm Glaston B. Tall Smythe, co-host of Welcome to Later. Yes, and I'm Ganilla. <laughs> Spelled the usual way, five H's, fifth H is silent. Yes, we are co-hosts of Welcome to Later, and when we're not co-hosting the show, we're watching... Tell you later. Yes. Because it's our job. <laughs> Something we have do to. It. <sighs> we're waiting for a big break. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> hey everybody and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Tell You Later. I'm Katie Lee, and I have Kimmy Robertson to help me keep my ears on straight. And so I get to interview her because it's just like a girl day Yay! today. Yay! So I'm wearing um, a hat. Yo, thank you f to all our patrons who have been patrons who have been supporting us on, on Patreon. Patreon. On yes, on Patreon, and we really appreciate it. And if you're watching this, please hit like and subscribe. Okay. Got all that out of the way. Advertising. I had to get this hat at a Comic Con. We go to conventions sometimes. Actually, we just we went to one recently, but sometimes the convention floors are so cold. I had to run up to the the floor where they sell stuff and buy myself a hat. So I got I this one. I had to one. put all my clothes on <laughs> at the uh, the most recent one. It gets I had very pants cold. On, a dress on, a sweater. And a jacket. But this hat reminded me of you because you have many animal hats. So I asked Kimmy to bring all her many hats. So I let's didn't see. bring them all. I just Don't you have like a, another animal hat? I do. Let, how about an owl? I don't think people saw at well, your house. Bear. You have a lot of animals at your house. I do. I have raccoons. I have possums who come and go because that's what possums do. I have coyotes. I have owls. Great horned owls are there now until after Green New horned? Year's. Great horned, because their feathers go up and they look like horns, but they're not. Oh yeah, I know. They look like horns. Yeah, they're not their wings. They're their feathers on where's their the, head, right? The owl hat. It just what happened to your owl hat? Disappeared. You were wearing it when you were fixing your ponytails. Wait, let's ask our oh, our intern. It's in the in the ladies' dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of people we met because we worked on Adventures in Odyssey together. Mm -hmm. But you've been in so many things, and there's so many things I don't know about you that I thought our audience would love to know. For instance, you shared with me that we should only wash our hair once a week. Yes. And I've been doing that. Now, I don't know if I'm cheating or not, because I'm not using shampoo, but I'm rinsing with water. So I can dry it. Is that okay? Yes. So, I you can see... It's shiny. It, it's okay. It does seem to not dry out, but it it's a whole new thing. Because when we get older, when us ladies get a little bit more mature. Well, it's everyone. I learned this from a, a male in his 20s. Oh, um, really? Yeah. A male man? <laughs> <laughs> he was a male, and he was a man, and he still is, actually. Um, Todd Gibbenhein, he's an actor, and he said, boy, you sure wash your hair a lot. And I said, well, I want, you know, to wash my hair when I take a shower. I changed hats. And Do I, you recognize me? So, there, we got to be able you. to see. She is my personal stylist. <laughs> Very thankful that she's here. <laughs> you could go snowboarding Where did you get this? I could if I snowboarded, mm -hmm. but I don't because I'm scared of balance 
Yeah, that's... I'm, balancing isn't something I'm really good at. Snowboarding is scary for me as well. I've never tried it. Well, and people, I they're so crazy. And they and they run into the skiers. But Group they got one great skiers. hats. They have great hats and great, like... Goggles and, cl- and, and jackets clothes. And, and you could just stand jumpers. there and pose. Yes. So he told you don't wash your hair so much. Yes, and I asked him why, and he said because it strips the oils. And back then, he uh, there weren't sulfate-free shampoos. There really weren't. And he said if it foams, it's got sulfates, and that's stripping your hair of all oh. the natural stuff. Now, when now I was is he in, a hairdresser? No, he's an actor. When I was Does he act like a hairdresser? No. Oh, okay. He doesn't <laughs> at all. So I'm sorry, I he's interrupted you, as I do. He's, I'm so sorry. He's a guy guy, and we have the same birthday, only it's 20 years apart. Oh, wow. He's a good friend of mine. And I thought you two met him at my play Todd? that I did, but then you didn't come to the play. I came to one the blonde, play. Where I was I the blonde person. Anyway, when I was in college... I went to some ladies' tea party for a skincare line, and uh, they explained to me that if you use soap, then it'll make you have oil, your, make your skin make oil to undo what you did to your skin with the soap. Because the soap dries your skin out. And so people Excuse me, were, I just want to say, these are beauty tips. Yes. By Kimmy Robertson. But it's logic, and... When I, you know, I had a, I think I had a zit when I went to this um, tea party, and <laughs> well, she, they just must have been all over you, she, right? <laughs> she picked What's me it? out as someone to <laughs> yes, experiment with. Tell everyone how wrong I was with my, <laughs> and I've been doing skincare since I was nine, so um, I. <laughs> She told me not to use soap anymore and to use uh, stuff that's actually more moisturizing, things that have oil, so put more oil on, and your skin goes, oh, we don't need to make more oil. Ah, We can make less oil. And they become zitless? Yes, and I became zitless immediately. So, but you said you were doing skincare since you were eight. Yes, but I I hadn't done all, all the research. Were you misinformed? Uninformed. I was watching commercials and doing what they told me. Right. I also was listening to my mother. It turns out she was right. Commercials were a little bit wrong. See, and that's what. And so let me just say, your mom might be right. Moms are usually <laughs> right. <laughs> your mom might be right, but we always want to try something different, right? Yeah. Can I wear this hat? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I want to. Woo. Okay. I want to wear all the hats. Okay, I'm going to wear this one next. So, another Disneyland. Oh, purchase. we should wear our Disneyland ones together, maybe. Should I leave this on for a little bit longer? Maybe. Okay. Oh, we'll look like Disney twins. There. And so, speaking of Disney, you have worked for Disney. I have. Many years ago, I dated uh, all the guys in the animation <laughs> department. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> that must have been fun. It was. We'd go to Disneyland together and they would show Always us. date someone who works at Disney if you want to go to Disneyland. Yes. Another tip. And learn because they know a lot about Walt Disney and his brother Roy and uh, why the paint is the way it is. Or, well, this was. In Will the started 80s. at Disney's. Too, writing songs he did? when they had records before we did um, <gasps> cartoons. I have a Disney record and it's pink with sparkles in it. Oh, you need a record player. I have one. I got one for Christmas two years ago. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Mm-hmm. And it was somebody's son who gave it to you. His name is Micah Nelson, and he's Willie Nelson's. I knew that one of Willie Nelson's sons. Right. Uh, very nice of him. Okay. Thank you for the record player. Is Thanks it a USB the, kind? It has everything you can think of. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were dating everyone at Disneyland. At Disney. Disney. And animation. <laughs> <laughs> so um, How did you get how did you meet were you working on a show? Is I that actually how you met, them? met uh Kelly Asbury and he was in my groundlings class. And we started to date, and I didn't date all the other guys. I was just making that up. 
<laughs> they were friends of mine. I was just acting like just a going big, out with like them. You were wheel. going out with them, hanging, hanging out, hanging out, hanging out, hanging around. Let's clear that. Doing stuff, but I learned stuff, and I, I'm. Besides William Shatner, I think I'm the second most curious human on the planet. Oh. And so, um, Kelly... Call Guinness. Me <laughs> he taught me stuff, and then all his friends taught me stuff, and their friends taught me stuff. And, I, and to answer your question, they asked me to do a voice, and it was Snow White, and I couldn't quite get it. And they said, no, you're not quite there, but it's the closest we've had so far, and then all of a sudden they asked me to do a voice on Little Mermaid. That's so pretty cool. I did that. And well, you record separately when you go in to do Disney movies, right? Mm -hmm. Not like ensemble like we do. For Unless it's a song. Did you sing? Not in, um, not in that. Later in the, in the Little Mermaid TV cartoon show, yes, uh -oh. I sang. With all the other sisters, I played Alana, the littlest mermaid Aww. sister. So was that Little Mermaid the first movie you ever did for Disney? Yes. Okay. That's exciting. It was exciting. But you got to go to the premiere. Well, I did. Did you have to dress like a mermaid? No, it was at some place in Burbank. It was at just a regular theater in Burbank. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then you were in the it was cartoon? quite casual. So who directed the movie? Do they direct movies different than they direct cartoons? They always have partners, so two directors. Really? And the next one I did was Beauty and the Beast. And um, Gary Truesdale was one of the directors, and I can't remember the other director's name because you were just going to ask me, and I panicked. No. Why don't you tell me who directed the cartoon? Oh, I have no idea. Was it Jamie? All the different cartoons that we did. The Little Mermaid, were there different directors? Yes. Wow. Sometimes, I, I'll say, even with Odyssey, they'll have the writers direct. They'll come in, maybe direct their own scripts, right? What does yes, Alana did, sound they like? They did do that. Um, Alana is, has anyone seen my hairbrush? <laughs> That's cute. And then they said, your hairbrush, we only have one. Well, it's my hairbrush when I use it. Oh, there you go. Did did you work on Aladdin, too, at all? No. No. I worked on that one. Oh. Ginny McSwain directed that. I, but I only did a... I wasn't, like, a lead in that, like you are. So what else... At Ginny Disney, McSwain so, did, a lot, did a lot of directing and a, a lot of stuff that I've done. Shout out to Ginny McSwain! Yay! Um, when you did Beauty and the Beast, uh -huh. you were a... Feather duster. Feather duster. Beefy. And I was called, my agent called and said, they need you over at Disney to, this afternoon to do a record some little thing. Can you be there at three? Yes. Some little thing. <laughs> so I went over there. <laughs> did it have a working title? Some things, they don't tell you the name. It did, but they didn't mention it. So I did happen to know the stage I was going to already, so I went to the right place, and there was a bunch of people milling about in the uh, ante room. Was it like the, one of the ADR stages? Yes. Okay. And um, so I, I was standing there, and Gary came out and said, here's your script. Um, it's just this much for today. And, oh, by the way, we're doing a making of Beauty and the Beast video, which at that time I had never heard of a making of, like now everything oh, is a like, making of. I know what you mean, like behind the scenes. Yes. Oh, and they don't tell you that, and so you're dressed in like... Oh, I always dress nicely. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been the voiceover person that shows up in pajamas. I don't show up in pajamas. But I've always wished I could be that person somehow. But you, but you are so creative. Really. You make very, very creative and exciting uh, clothing choices. Bizarre is probably Some the better word. Some people might say that. But, uh, <laughs> but you can do it because you're just the right size. Because I'm weird. No, because you make it fun. Like, everybody looks at you and goes, why didn't I think of that? When How I, can I not pull that off? When I, I'm sure they all think that. They do. <laughs> That's why their faces are like this. 
Because <laughs> that's what they're thinking. Um, I always wondered. I, When I was little, I was nine, I found a plaid shirt, long sleeve plaid shirt that was buttoned down like this in a trash can. And I brought it home. I put it on. <laughs> Your mother and was thrilled. She was not thrilled. <laughs> and she wanted to wash it. I would not let her wash it. Why? Because I thought she'd do something to it. Like oh, like hide throw it. it away and pretend uh-huh. like it got eaten by the dryer or something. So in it's always, the, always that mother-daughter power struggle. Laundry power. Right? <laughs> it's the laundry power struggle, yes. So I finally took over the laundry a couple years after I took that. over doing my hair when I was six because you know how you have your my mom used to do ponytails mm. but she never got them even so like one would be up here and one, I said that's it mom you're that's frustrating. done doing my hair that's frustrating I remember that and then one would go one way and <laughs> right. one would go like the same way and it's like you got to turn the rubber bands around the other direction mom anyway um so, so you got a plaid shirt out of the trash. And I, I had found a, a captain's hat, you know, blue with a, a round thing with the anchor on it. Right. And then the shiny like, like plastic Like the captain black from rim. Gilligan's Island? Yeah, only it was dark blue. And st- <laughs> it was dark blue. So I always, that's what I wore in jeans. And why am I bringing this up? Because you have such eclectic taste in clothing. But I wore that like the entire year. And did it ever and get vans, washed? Vans, tennis shoes. Once it went into the laundry, I never saw it again. For real? Mm-hmm. But I had finished with it. That was my uniform for one year, and then it went away, and I got a new uniform, which was a Heidi dress. Oh, a dirndl skirt? Yes, yes I had one of those. <laughs> yes, that was very popular. Mm-hmm. I think in, like, six. Great. Yes, it was for, for you. Might be around this junior high. No, it was before that. Hmm. So I was think I was ten. So they had yeah. some sort of. Sewn I bet you they're wearing those with now the, with those lacings and the skirt. Oh yes, I had one of those too. So we all look like we were German yodelers. Yes. <laughs> that seemed to be popular. And that that print. Yes. With the little flowers yes. and the yellow and, and the, the poofed sleeves. Yeah, and I think they make curtains out of that now. Now they do. Yeah. Yes, and then of course the hair, the, the hair with the braids that went like that. Oh my goodness. Well, let's move on to a so you were in Beauty and the Beast. So let's see. Um, I have a question. Okay. What was my question? You can put that on, and I'll put this one on. Okay. Fuzzy Wait. hats. Oh, I needed to take it off. Mm, sorry. Decapitated by a grumpy hat. <laughs> no. All right. That's snowboarding for you. Ready? <laughs> okay. We actually, I just want you guys to know that Townsend Coleman was our technical director recently, and we showed him an episode of our show. Tell you later, and he said, "You guys seem to be looking at yourself on the camera. I advise you to turn the." How is that? To, well, because we did. Oh, because we wanted to know if we were in frame. He said that is a bad thing to do. So now this episode, we're only looking at the lenses. And uh, shout out to our intern who's letting us use his camera with the three dots. I don't know which one to look at. I'm just looking in the general direction. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, so you got to do Beauty and the Beast. Uh huh. And but before that, were you were working on TV, right? Oh, and so that was near the late '80s. In the beginning of the '80s, I got a movie accidentally. And I did three movies in a row. Accidentally? Yes, accidentally. <laughs> okay, so I went to college and studied ballet. Um, ballet was my major. And back then, there was only three universities in the United States that had ballet as a major. So that was kind of hard to find a school. Anyhow, and at that school, there was also musical theater and drama. Was it local to California? It was in San Diego. Oh, United Close. States International University School of Performing and Visual Arts. Is it still there? No. Oh. But it is somewhere, but that particular school is that not. That campus? Yeah. 
Well, they had three campuses in San Diego. And my campus had two theaters. It was all one big building, a big balcony, and um, bun heads running everywhere in pink. That was us ballet dancers. Bun heads. And like Angelina Ballerina. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And uh, I was scared of the musical theater people because they wore black nail polish, patchouli oil, and they always said, Hello, love. How are ya? <laughs> so I thought that if a person was going to be an actor, you had to do that. You had, had to, to have sound like Dick Van Dyke and, and Mary Poppins. Exactly, and wear black nail polish and patchouli oil. And um, I did try patchouli oil. To enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash later. Thanks a lot. Did you ever see that Monty Python skit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's a wah. <laughs> I missed that one. I, I th- Is that still playing? <laughs> Maybe. I'll have to lick it. I don't know. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tell You Later is a Patreon driven entertainment show. So, what are you waiting for? Come on over, join us for so much more at patreon.com front slash tell you later. I didn't wink on nine on nuts too slightly. Cause I never said yes I never said no I never said stop Never said Well, that was a lot of hot air I'll say Wanna see it again? Absolutely Alright I love hot air Woo-hoo!